Hi guys, today I've prepared a waves and superposition quick quiz. We've got 20 questions for you, so grab a paper and a pen and let's see what you know. Question 1. What is the relationship between amplitude and intensity? What is the relationship between amplitude and intensity? Number 2. Define frequency. Define frequency. Number three, what must be constant for a wave to be coherent? What must be constant for a wave to be coherent? Question four, what term refers to the spreading of waves as they pass through a narrow slit or near an obstacle? What term refers to the spreading of waves as they pass through a narrow slit or near an obstacle? Number five, what name is given to a region in a stationary wave where the displacement is permanently zero? What name is given to a region in a stationary wave where the displacement is permanently zero? Question six, what term is described as the superposition of waves from two coherent sources? What term is described as the superposition of waves from two coherent sources. Number seven. What term describes the maximum magnitude of the displacement of an oscillating particle from its equilibrium position? What term describes the maximum magnitude of the displacement of an oscillating particle from its equilibrium position? Number eight. What term describes the time taken for a particle to undergo one complete cycle of oscillation? What term describes the time taken for a particle to undergo one complete cycle of oscillation? Question 9. What term describes a line or surface joining points which are at the same state of oscillation? What term describes a line or surface joining points which are at the same state of oscillation? Number 10. What type of wave results in a net transfer of energy from one place to another? What type of wave results in a net transfer of energy from one place to another? Question 11. What term describes a wave in which the oscillations of the wave particles are perpendicular to the direction of the propagation of the wave. What term describes a wave in which the oscillations of the wave particles are perpendicular to the direction of propagation of the wave? Question 12. What type of waves can be polarized? What type of waves can be polarized? Number 13. What device can be used to display a wave on a screen? What device can be used to display a wave on a screen? Number 14. What distance is twice the distance between a pair of adjacent nodes in a standing wave? What distance is twice the distance between a pair of adjacent nodes in a standing wave? Number 15. What condition is required for constructive interference to occur? What condition is required for constructive interference to occur? Number 16. Which experiment can demonstrate the two source interference properties of light? Which experiment can demonstrate the two source interference properties of light? Number 17. Which equation is used to determine the wavelength of light from a diffraction grating? Which equation is used to determine the wavelength of light from a diffraction grating? Number 18. State the principle of superposition. State the principle of superposition. Number 19. What is the name of the region in a longitudinal wave where the particles are closest together? What is the name of the region in a longitudinal wave where the particles are closest together? And number 20. What term describes a wave in which the oscillations of the particles are parallel to the direction of the propagation of the wave? 
What term describes a wave in which the oscillations of the wave particles are parallel to the direction of the propagation of the wave? And here are your answers. Number one, intensity is proportional to amplitude squared. Number two, number of wave cycles per second. Number three, phase. Number four, diffraction. Number five, node. Number six, interference. Number seven, amplitude. Number eight, time period. Number nine, wavefront. Number 10, progressive waves. Number 11, transverse waves. Number 12, transverse waves. Number 13, cathode ray oscilloscope. Number 14, wavelength. Number 15, the phase difference of two sources must be a whole number of wavelengths. Number 16, Young's double slit experiment. Number 17, d sine theta equals n lambda. Number 18, the resultant displacement of waves is equal to their vector sum. Number 19, compression. Number 20, longitudinal waves. How well did you do? Bye for now.